Hey math folks, today what we're going to look at is we're going to look at something called the Volterra equation. And the Volterra equation is what's called an integral equation. And what makes it an integral equation is the following. If we look at this, this here is, that's the Volterra equation. And you'll see that it's x of t is going to equal f of t plus the integral of 0 to t, k of t minus tau, x of tau, d tau. Now, a couple of things to notice about it. The reason why it's called an integral equation is because the function that we're looking for, x of tau, is, or x of t rather, is in fact, um, it is in fact under the integral. And so hence we get this integral equation. So you see like differential equations where the function that we're looking for in this case, in some cases y or x1 of t or whatever, is inside of the derivative. Well, in this case, what we have is we have a function that's inside of the integral, and that's actually what makes it an integral equation. We're going to utilize the convolution integral in order to solve these Volterra equations. So to just define it, the equation of the form x of t equals f of t plus 0 to t k of t minus tau x of tau d tau, that's going to be our Volterra equation. And k of t, so this thing right here, that's going to be called the kernel of the equation. And we're going to refer to big K of S as the Laplace transform of K of T. And so we're going to see that, just recognize that that's what I'm, I'm talking about. That a Laplace transform for the kernel will be big K of S. Now suppose that we want to solve the following Volterra equation. X of T equals 3e to the T plus 2 times the integral 0 to T e to the negative T minus tau x of tau d tau. A couple of things. One is we notice that it's of the right form for our Volterra equation. It's the integral equation. But then two, we want to notice that we can utilize the convolution integral or the convolution theorem in order to solve this. So first, we want to remember that the Laplace transform of f star g equals big F of s, big G of s, and that f star g is going to equal the integral from 0 to t of f of t minus tau, g of tau, d tau. So just like our Volterra equation. Now, we'll look here. We'll notice that this is going to be called our kernel according to the Volterra equation. So that's going to be k of t is going to end up equaling e to the negative t. And then we have x of tau. That's an unknown. And then we've got this 3e to the t. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to take the Laplace transform of both sides. So I'll take the Laplace transform of x of t. And that'll equal the Laplace transform of 3e to the t plus, and then what we'll do is we'll write this as the Laplace transform of this whole thing, 2 to the integral 0 to t, e to the negative t minus tau, x of tau, d tau. When I rewrite, I'm going to get big X of s. That's our Laplace transform. That's going to equal now 3 over s minus 1 plus and now this is going to be 2 times ks. So this is going to be 2 times the Laplace transform of e to the negative t times x of s. And that's by the convolution theorem. So now, if I rewrite this, this is going to end up being 2 over s plus 1 times x of s plus, and we'll have this 3 over s minus 1. I'll move my x minus s's over to one side, and I get x of s minus 2 over s plus 1, x of s equals 3 over s minus 1. And so then I'll get x of s times, this will be 1 minus 2 over s plus 1 equals 3 over s minus 1. And then we'll just do a little... Combining like terms, we get x of s equals, and this will end up being s minus 1 over s plus 1. Excuse me, not equals, but x of s times s minus 1 over s plus 1. And that will equal 3 over s minus 1. Now I get that x of s is going to equal 3 times s minus 1 times s plus 1 over s minus 1, which is going to equal 3s plus 3 over s minus 1 squared. When I go in and I find the inverse of the Laplace transform, I'm going to have L inverse of x of s is going to equal L inverse of 3s plus 3 over s minus 1 squared. 
And then using a little partial fractions, we're going to end up with L inverse of 3 over S minus 1 plus L inverse of 6 over S minus 1 squared. And so that means that X of T is then going to equal 3E to the T plus 6TE to the T. And that ends up being the solution to our Volterra equation. So you'll notice that what we've done here is we've basically just utilized that convolution integral, okay, and the techniques that we've been utilizing for Laplace transforms. We'll go back up, take a look. So we go in, we notice that that Volterra equation, that integral that we have here, is simply that convolution product. And so once we recognize that, we know that that's going to end up being k of s times x of s. And that's what this is. That's k, 2 times k of x times x of s right there. Then it's just a matter of going in and figuring out what our Laplace transforms are, doing a little bit of algebra in order to isolate for x of s, and then taking the inverse Laplace transform in order to give us the solution to our differential equation. All right, that's it. That's all we've got to do in order to solve those Volterra equations. So basically what this is, is this is an application of the convolution theorem and convolution integrals. This is Dr. George Sweeney, and I want to thank you for watching my video. If you found it helpful and you liked it, go ahead and click the thumbs up. If you want more of these videos and you want to get my updates, please click subscribe. If you have any questions or you just want to say how much you really enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave some comments. I do read and respond to the comments.